Should we make a vegan tier list? <laughs> oh, God. We should. Um, <laughs> a vegan activist tier list. <laughs> activist. Earthling Ed S tier. This had to be done. We have to rank these vegans on who's most likely going to graduate and become a terrorist. So let's get right into this because we ain't got all day. All right, so we starting off here at number one. Uh, this person, he doesn't have quite enough hatred or his rhetoric to truly hit the S tier of a future vegan terrorist. So, you know, based off some of the things I've heard him say, I'm going to have to put him at a C because, I mean, he did say that one time that he would gas human beings if they destroyed his crops. I already put name the trait to myself and said that I would accept crop deaths in the context of humans who were damaging crops and did not have the mental capacity to be reasoned with to stop damaging the crops. The ironic part to this is that many would say that vegans cannot be reasoned with and these bugs are only eating the crops and you're calling it destruction. So the vegans who can't be reasoned with are planning to also eat the crops, which is literally also destroying the crops. I mean, you think about it. You're planning on eating the crops too. You're just mad because the bugs came and ate them first. That's about it. So then you guys justify pouring pesticides and rodenticides. So y'all should bring out the homo sapiens side to get rid of all the humans who may potentially come by and eat your plants. I mean, and on top of that, why not just eat meat? Especially if the conversation at hand is between eating meat and eating plants and you're justifying killing human beings and insects in order to eat plants rather than just killing animals to eat animals in lieu of being in the situation to where you have to kill humans in order to eat plants. Can we eat the dead animals that you guys kill in order to produce fake meats like the Beyond Beef Burger? Specifically those animals, those animal deaths should be vegan, right? See, you guys get to kill animals in order to eat food and you're okay with that. But when it comes to other people killing animals to eat food, you guys aren't okay with it because why? So yeah, he's gonna have to be about a sea level. Just not quite, just not really quite fulfilling the true potential of a vegan who's angry, you know? He just, he just, just doesn't have it in him. All right, so I see this guy right here, Gary Urofsky, let's see. First thing I think about is white t-shirt, skin tight haircut, but long neck and black glasses. This long pencil neck looking real suspect. There's something a lizard would have. It's already been proven that vegans are the shape-shifting reptilian type. So let's check out Gary Urofsky. Let's see what he has to offer the world with his vegan activism and where he ranks on this vegan tier tier list. There's a segment of our population that won't stop no matter what until you put a gun to their head. If I went into a slaughterhouse and had guns drawn and people had knives against the throats of pigs, I'm the one doing the noble act. When we have to pick up arms, take arms, bear arms to go liberate the animals, we're going to be on the right side of justice. We have fantasies sometimes about harming people that harm animals. It's logical. It's not psychotic to want to harm somebody that's murdering somebody else. There are certain people that are not worthy enough to be treated fairly and equally. When I talk about the violence that needs to happen, that will happen one day, I'm explaining that I'm not going to condemn it. And I think it would be wrong for any animal rights person to condemn an act of justified violence against somebody who victimizes innocent beings. I mean, this is a potential Osama bin Laden level vegan terrorist. I mean, he might be premiered on Al Jazeera here pretty soon. We might, we don't know yet, but only time can tell. So I think Gary Urofsky here, he's, I'm sorry, he, he's top tier because nobody, no reasonable, rational human being can speak like this. This is the words of a future terrorist, but I'm kind of having second thoughts because his health is starting to fail. I mean, look at it. He got the sucked in eye sockets. I just, I don't think he's going to last. He's not going to be optimal for the battlefield to to really fulfill the duty of a of a terrorist. Because it's, it's, a, it's a hard, strenuous activity to be out there fighting the war. I just, wait, hold on, wait, what's this? Human rights is the number one impediment to the advancement of animal liberation. Nah, nope, he's got to be on top. I'm doing great things for the FBI right now. I'm letting you guys know ahead of time who to keep an eye on. 
All right, we're going to look at my man, James Aspie. Look at this smile. He, You know, a good, a good man can never have a smile this bright, right? Well, let's see. Let's listen to this man and the types of thoughts he thinks of. It's very wrong. And there's something wrong with you if you don't see that. So how do we make you see it if just the general facts and figures the don't blame and shame inform and explain approach isn't working. You need to be shamed. And not immediate, but family have read and seen it all. They're still not vegan. Clearly my approach wasn't enough after eight years and it got to a point where I have lost patience with that. I have less patience than ever. If this was, if this was humans, we would fight differently. I would fight differently and I am, I'm closer to fighting for the non-human earthlings the way that they deserve than I've ever been before. I'd rather speak up for the victims than I would to keep friends. All right, so this man, he has the fundamentals down, but he doesn't quite have that niche. Like, listen to what he just said. With some of these people, you have to read between the lines. So listen to what he says. He says that he's almost ready to start providing the type of defense for these animals that they deserve while comparing it after a statement saying, I don't react as if they're human yet. So where's he going with this? I mean, I mean, I could see some potential here for a future vegan terrorist, but I think he just has the seeds planted. He hasn't quite committed himself completely. If you can blame and shame them, you know, that might get you there. But if that doesn't work, well, we're going to have to figure out the next step to go. If it was you in their situation. Really think about how that would be. Um, my guess is most of you would want someone screaming and breaking down the doors for you. Um, so get as close to that as you can. I I'm sorry, I, you know, the best I can do for you is about a B. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get a B tier. Uh, I, but I, I do believe he has the potential within the next six to nine months he could reapply uh, for A tier possibly, but He's just not quite meeting the S tier standard yet. All right, so we have one of my favorites, the vegan lawyer here. Yes, that's right, folks. A vegan lawyer. And we're going to see where she ranks at. Um, Based off of her most recent statements, I'm going to have to already say right off the jump, she's going to at least be an A, nothing less. And you'll see why. So I want to put dairy in my soy latte, and I, like, wanted to murder her, like, actually kill her. I rarely drink soy lattes, so when I do, I want to actually enjoy it. Like, I would have actually killed that girl. Then, after she said she was going to kill that girl, here she is taking some shooting lessons, and she joined a shooting club. If that isn't a little weird... I don't know what is. All right, so this is what you have to understand first and foremost, is that humanity is scum. We are the cancer on this earth. And the less of us there are, the better it is for the animals and the planet. And she really has these, these values at heart. And, you know, this is what separates the A tier from the S tier, is that is that deep desire to want to see people suffer in the name of animal liberation. Yes, that's right, folks. She is a self-proclaimed animal liberator. Mm. Now, what I don't understand is how the Bar Association allows a lawyer to speak this way on the Internet. Now, okay, I used to work in a law office. And when I was in the army, I was a paralegal. You have to be above the standard. You need to be setting the example. So this has to be the biggest hypocrisy I've ever seen. Because not only is she a so-called vegan, and she's supposed to be compassionate, right? But she's also a lawyer. However, she's advocating for people to commit assault and battery. What kind of lawyers doing that? Because basically veganism is an ideology. 
If we have to fight people, like literally wound the flesh of other people to get this point across, then we should do that. And she's not just doing it on a sneaker on a sly. It's right there on the internet. This right here, definitely, definitely S tier. We need to keep our eye on this vegan lawyer. Um, if the FBI can do any kind of phone taps, any kind of audits of emails, text messages. All right, it's only a matter of time, folks. It's only a matter of time before she's having a mugshot. Headlines reading, crazy vegan shoots up YouTube headquarters. It's only a matter... Oh, wait. We already have one of those. If you thought Antifa was bad, you just wait. Wait until these... Wait until these people get organized. So with all that being said, I truly believe she has enough screws loose to be S tier. She's very, very, very dedicated. She's shown a consistent behavioral pattern of uh, being nuttier than a bag of planters. Now right here, we're we looking at a real thug killer right here. So many of you know her as Freely, but the rest of you who from the hood hood, her hood name, Freely the Banana Girl. And you may be thinking bananas like uh, the, uh, the Chiquitas. But no, we talking Banana Clip. She's known from around the way. She won't step on scene without at least about 40 rounds. Dude, she don't shoot nothing less than the 7.62 for the animals. And yes, it does include family members of mine who actually continue eating meat and dairy. They've watched Earthlings. They know the facts. They've been educated. But they choose to continue eating animal products whether they actually deserve to continue living. Who do you think was the first to put a banana in a paper bag to rob a bank? Come on, you're looking at a legend here. Considering her resume of poaching vulnerable eating disorder victims in order to convince them to go vegan with her size zero waist and fake boobs, this right here is instant S tier because nobody in the history of veganism has manipulated so many mentally ill young men and women into consuming 20 to 30 bananas a day. Come on, round of applause. You can't outperform that. You just can't. If you wanted to cause devastation on a generation of individuals, that's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. Now, last but not least, a man who needs no introduction. Right off the bat, you know he deserves what tier? I'll give you five seconds to decide. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. S plus. We had to open another bracket for this. Would you be happy if ISIS does a bomb attack at a bullfighting arena killing all of them pussies? Yeah. yeah. ISIS could attack uh, a bullfight, like a bullfighting ring, slaughterhouses, very meat-focused restaurants like the Keg Steakhouse, things like that, and I, I wouldn't really care. Not only will he be a terrorist among human beings, but he will be a terrorist among animals because he's willing to kill the animals in order to quote-unquote save animals based on his vegan moral system now an extension to his vegan moral system is what they call name the trait to morally distinguish between animals and human beings he's going to copy and paste the same idea over human beings to justify killing human beings for being what they consider carnivores when it comes to meat consumption so now not only do we have to suffer with listening to the vegan bullshit now the animals do too. What's the contradiction with being in support of killing carnivorous animals? Why would we go around killing certain types of animals? Because they're carnivores and they kill other animals. See, all this time they've been saying, make the world go vegan. Let's make a vegan world. And I, I thought, and we thought, that they were talking about making people go vegan. But they mean the literal earth, the planet earth. It's a newsflash, man. Mother Nature is not a vegan. Father Time is not a vegan. This is everything wrapped up in one. This is the epitome of veganism. And when you continue down the logical progression, this is what you have in store for yourself. Miserable, depressed, hateful, vegan. Now see you next time when we look at How to Do the Vegan Diet Wrong, starring every vegan on YouTube. Good night. Until next time.